डॉक्टर अहमद श्री मनिकर फ्रेंड्स वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू एज माई कॉलीग लीना मैंशन वी आर रिज्यूमिंग दिस लेक्चर सीरीज आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग गैप आई होप दैट आवर नेक्स्ट लेक्चर विल नॉट रियली टेक दिस लॉन्ग I want to join my colleague Lena in thanking Shrinivas for making this happen. Uh, he, as all of you know, is uh, uh, made a name for himself as a space journalist. Uh, I don't think any any other journalist in India uh, can really claim that reputation. we are very happy at orf that uh, we have established uh, a close relationship with uh, shrinivas and hope that uh, in future too our engagement with space will continue friends uh, i have a special reason to be happy um, in organizing this particular talk by dr ahmed who is associated with chandrayaan because i can claim that i was present on the ramparts of red fort on august 15 independence day 2003 when our prime minister then prime minister atal bihari vajpayee uh, with whom i was working then he announced chandrayaan 1 he said and i quote our country is now ready to fly high in the field of science I am pleased to announce that India will sh- send her own spacecraft to the moon by 2008. It is being named Chandrayaan-1. In fact, the name Chandrayaan was given by uh, Vajpayee himself. The chief of ISRO then was Dr. Kasturi Rangan, and uh, I had uh, the pleasure of. Uh, interacting closely with him and exactly 2008 his successor dr madhavan nair made this promise come true chandrayaan one happened and he said that we have given india the moon famous words and he also announced that within 5 years india will send is it 5 years or to the yeah manned mission to the moon i'm sure that even that promise will come true and india will have the honor of sending an indian with a tricolor to the moon friends i just have one thought to share on this occasion um i don't know who said it that uh, earth is the cradle of humanity but no one wants to remain in the cradle forever so it is the innate urge of human beings to explore outer space to reach the stars and we are all happy that uh, india has joined uh the space club and uh, surging ahead but even as we do so friends uh, we have to uh, we have to also keep the other thought in mind and it's a thought that uh, you know carl jung says that it's easier to go to mars or to the moon than to penetrate one's own inner self so while conquering outer space is important and uh, you know man is really uh, making tremendous in fact unbelievable advances in this conquering the inner space is even more difficult although inner space is closer to us in some ways than the outer space i remember a talk that we organized here just two days ago it was titled 
Tibetan art of concentration. So the art of concentration was about conquering our inner space. And I'm happy that you know, today we have a talk that's about outer space. So we at Observer Research Foundation, we are interested in understanding uh, man's relationship with the outer space, man's relationship with the inner space, all to gain a deeper understanding of life, all to gain a deeper understanding of how to make life better for all of us. And I regard today's lecture as uh, a part of uh, this effort by the Observer Research Foundation. I thank uh, Dr. Ahmed for accepting our invitation at short notice and uh, coming here all the way from Hyderabad. Thank you very much and thank you for attending today's lecture.